Hello friends, I'm Nayashik from blogtube.com and recently I have been getting a lot of requests from my users. They say they get an error uh, which says, are you sure you want to do this? Whenever they try to upload any theme or plugin or any image, audio or video on your on their website. Now, basically I have cre already created a video on this subject. Okay, if you see my video around a week ago, I created this video, which says the uploaded files exceeds the max file size directive. So this is actually the exact same error. It just says something different, you know, uh, instead of that, now the error says something same. Okay, the, the problem over here is that whenever you try to upload any file, which is more than 2 MB, now you get this error because the default uh, file size for uh, WordPress, the upload file size is 2 MB. So whenever you try to upload a you know, file larger than 2 MB, you get this error. Okay, so if any one of you has watched that video, then you can just skip, you can do some better things in life because I have already shown this in an earlier video, but you know, people say, you know, no, do some new video on this error. It's, it's the same error. I'll show you how to fix this. Okay, so the, as I said to you, this is just a common error. So what you can do is you can just go to your dashboard first. So come back to your dashboard, WordPress dashboard, and let us first see what is the problem. So if you hover this media, you'll see two options, library and add new. And when you click on add new, you'll see that it says the maximum upload file size is 2 MB. Okay, so this is what we have to fix. We have to increase this thing. So this is very easy. You can use FileZilla, you can just open FileZilla. If you don't know how to use FileZilla, I'll give a video link in the video description below. You can check that video. It will help you in setting up FileZilla, okay? Now let's open FileZilla, let's open our client server. Now here you have to search for your website. For example, my website, I am, I'm using a subdomain. It is demo.nayashek.com. So here it is, demo.nayashek.com. Now open your website, open this folder. And here you'll see a file which says .ht access. This is the first file. Now what you have to do, you have to drag this file on your desktop. Okay. So if you, if you're not, if you're not sure whether the desktop is selected or not, you can see over here, the desktop is selected. Okay. So let's drag this file on our desktop. Okay, it says transfer finished. Let's see. Okay, so this is the file. Okay, we have to do some changes over here. Now after doing so, you'll see another link in the video description below. You can click on that link and that link will redirect you to my website. Let me show you. Okay, it will redirect you to my website. In fact, it will redirect you uh, uh, to this post. Okay, now this is a very important post. We have our solution in this post. Now if you scroll down, First of all, you have this video, which I was talking about. You can watch this video. And if you scroll down, you will see this five lines of code. You just have to copy these codes. Okay, just copy it from here, select it, copy it and come back over here. Now we need to open this file. You can, you know, use many different free softwares to open this file. I'm using Sublime Text. I'll give a link in the video description below to download Sublime Text. It's free. It's awesome. You can use it. Now, when you open this, this is how it will look. Okay. This is the file. Now we have to paste the code, which we copied. Now, if you see here, there is some space. Okay. So what I can do is I can just paste those code over here. Okay. So these are the codes, these four or five lines of codes. If you see over here, now here, if you see the maximum upload size, uh, here it is upload max file size, and we are increasing this to 64 MB. Okay. So this is very important. Now, once you copy and paste that, you can just press Control and S. It will save the file. Now you can cut this thing. Now go to FileZilla again. And now what you have to do, you have to refresh this section. Okay. So right click over here, click on refresh. So this section is refreshed now. Now you can drag this HT access again in this directory. Okay. From left to right. It will ask you to overwrite it and we want to overwrite it. Okay, now it says transfer finished. Now let's come back to our dashboard. Okay, now here now it says 2 MB. Now let's refresh and see what happens. Now as you can see, it says 64 MB. Okay, so the changes have taken place. 
Now let's try whether that thing happens or not. Let's try uploading a theme which is more than 2 MB. So hover appearances and click on themes. Now to add a new theme just click on this button which says add new. Now click on upload theme. Choose file. Now I will be uploading this monstroid 2 theme which is really amazing theme. It is around 12 MB as you can see when I hover this you get 12.5 MB. So let's select this and click on open. Click on install now. Okay, so you can see the progress at the bottom left corner of your browser. If you're using Google Chrome, it is around 40% and it's increasing. Okay, so it is 60% and in, it's increasing. By the time it's increasing and uploading, you can subscribe to my channel. That will take only one second. And, and you can click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. Now as you can see the theme is successfully uploaded now it is asking us to activate now if you want to activate you can do so okay so we have successfully solved the problem hopefully it was helpful if you guys find it helpful then make sure you give a thumbs up to this video also share it with your friends who are using wordpress so that you know it can help them as well thanks a lot for watching guys see you soon